Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. Reactions in solutions. So if you see, a majority of the reactions which we do in laboratory is carried out in solution. Most of the reaction happens in solution itself. And that's why we will look into some of the concepts for the reactions in solution. So reaction in of a solution or the amount of substance present in its given volume can be expressed in four different ways that is mass percentage or weight percentage then I have mole fraction then I have molarity and then I have molality so there are four ways to represent the concentration of substance in a solution so we'll go through all these one is mass percent or weight percent so if you see mass percent is a one way of representing concentration of element in a compound or a mixture and it is calculated as a mass of the component divided by total mass of mixture. For example, if you talk about water molecule H2O, so this guy has two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen or you can say that two mole of hydrogen is nothing but two into one grams of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen is nothing but 18. grams of oxygen sorry 16 grams of oxygen right because oxygen is 16 so if you see I'll have to find mass percentage of hydrogen that will become 2 by 16 plus 2 18 in 200 and if I have to find mass percentage of oxygen it will be 16 by total is 18 in 200 mm -hmm. that's how we find that will be in percentage so that is nothing but it's one way of representing concentration of element in a compound or a mixture. I have a compound water, I have to find a percentage of hydrogen and oxygen, I can find using this way. This is mass percentage. We can make, take one example also. A solution is prepared by adding 2 gram of substance A to 18 gram of water. Right? Find the mass percent of solute. So if you see in this case, I am talking about the percentage of substance in water it's, it's a mixture it is not a compound it's a mixture here so i have 2 grams of substance and 18 grams of water right total i have how much 20 grams of mixture right this is a mixture now so i say percentage of substance is nothing but 2 by mixture is 20 into 100 that is 10 percent i'm talking about so this is my percentage of substance that is one way of representing the percentage of substance in a mixture so in this mixture i have 2 grams of substance 18 grams of water total mixture is 20 grams and i have to find the percentage of my mix the substance and that i found is 2 percent this is one way of uh, representing mass or percentage of a substance in a solution or a mixture. The other thing is a mole fraction. Mole fraction is what? The ratio of number of moles of a particular component, the total number of moles of the solution. So for example, I have, let's suppose, 3 mole of X and I have, let's suppose, 7 mole of Y, right? I have these two, you know, in a mixture or a solution. I have a 3 mole of this and 7 mole of y in a solution. Now, if I say mole fraction of x, that will become 3 by 7 plus 3 is 10 into 100 percent is, that is if you see 30 percent. And I will see mole fraction of y, it will be 7 by 10. You, if you want, you can write in percentage also. Or you can write normally 0.3 here. You can write 0.7 also here. So your wish. If you want to write in terms of percentage, you have to multiply by 100, become 30 percent. Or you can write in fraction also. But since it's a fraction, we'll uh, will will write in terms of fraction. So it is a mole of x by mole of the whole solution. So this is mole of x is 3, mole of whole solution is 10. So this is 3 by 10. So it is in fraction. In this case, mole of y is 7. Mole of total solution is 10. 7 by 10 is 0.7. That's how you write. You write the mole of particular x by, by to mole of total solution. Right? That is mole fraction of x. The general formula is 
mole fraction of x is nothing but mole of x by mole of whole solution. Correct. Then we have something called molarity. It is the most widely used. So please pay a little attention here. It is denoted by capital M. Please it is noted as capital M. It is not small m. And it is defined as number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. Please note it is number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. Please let's again repeat this definition. It is nothing but number of moles of solute of solute in one liter of solution. We'll take one example on this. Four gram sugar. This formula dissolved in third three fifty. Milliliter of water. What is the molarity of the solution? So first thing is, we have told that moles of solute per liter, right? This is this is capital M molarity. So I define first this solute in moles. Correct. So this guy formula is C twelve S twenty two O eleven. So let's find the molar mass of this. Molar mass of C12 H22 O11 is nothing but C12 is 12 into 12 H22 is 22 11 into 1 O11 is 11 into 6 that comes out to be 342 grams per mole. This is the molar mass. Correct. That means 342 grams implies one mole of Sucrose, correct? But I have four grams, so four grams implies four by three forty-two mole of sucrose. Okay, that is point zero one one seven mole. So I know the mole. So I was given that sugar is four gram. I know four gram of sugar is this many moles. Correct. So I have this m molarity is nothing but. Mole of solute that is sucrose in this case by volume of solution that is nothing but point zero zero one seven by this has to be in liter so three fifty mL is nothing but point three five zero liter correct and this comes out to be point zero three three mole per liter mole per liter is a unit of molarity and that is my answer very yes, simple. So you have to find the mole of sucrose, that is solute, and then you define the volume of solution in liter, that is 0.35 liter, and you get the answer. Correct. So this guy is in mole, and this guy is in liter. So the answer is mole per liter. Then we have something called molality. This guy is nothing but number of moles of solute present in one kg of solvent. Please note, in earlier case it was one liter of solvent. Here it is one kg of solvent. Right. The concept is same. And it is denoted by small m. So I'll write small m is nothing but moles of solute in kg of solvent. So this guy is in moles, and this guy is in kg. So the unit will be mole per kg. In case of molarity, it was mole per liter. Correct. So, in case of molarity, capital M, it was mole of solute by liters of solution. Correct. This guy was mole per liters. So, this is mole per liters. M O L. This guy is mole per kg. Let's take one example for this. Similar example: four kg of sugar dissolved in three fifty. Liter of water. What is the molarity here? Density of water is given. So again, same thing. First thing we'll do: find the mol molar mass of C twelve H twenty two O eleven. This will come out to be twelve into twelve plus hydrogen twelve twelve into one eleven oxygen eleven into sixteen. That is three forty two grams per mol. So three forty two grams of Sucrose is equal to one mole, but we have four grams, so four grams of sucrose. Same thing I am doing here is equal to 
4 by 342 moles that is 0 0.0117 mole this is my mole now i have to find small m validity it is nothing but mole of sugar by kg of water so density is equal to mass by volume i know because i am talking about mass of water so mass of water will be density into volume what is density density is 0.97 gram per milliliter gram per milliliter so i have to multiply this guy with milliliter 350 milliliter so what you will get in is in gram right because gram per milliliter into something in liter millimeter cancel you get something in gram so you have to multiply this guy with 10 to the power minus see to get something in kg hope you understand this so what you get here is 0.341 kg so i got the mass of water so i can say small m molarity is nothing but mole of c12h e2o11 by mass of water this guy will be in mole this guy will be in kg right so this becomes i have 0.117 and this guy is in kg is 0.341 kg so to solve this you get 0.034 mole per kg and that is my molality easy only so the only difference is here instead of in molarity it was volume of water here it is mass of water in kg let's take one more question we have to find the mass of sodium acetate required to make 50 ml of 0.375 molar aqueous solution where the molar mass of sodium acetate is this much so if you see in this case i have to find the mass of this guy required to make this molar solution so i'm when i say it's 0.375 molar solution this guy means i have 0.375 moles of ch3coona in 1000 ml of water correct this is what it means or if i'm talking about 500 ml of water you divide everything by 2 that means i have 0.1875 mole of ch3coona in 500 ml of h2 correct so now i have to find how much gram this guy is i know that 82.0245 gram one mole is equal to this much gram this much i know one mole is equal to this much gram so 0.1875 mole will be equal to 0.1875 into this much 82.0245 grams and this if you solve you get 15.38 grams and that is my answer hope you understand see 0.375 molar solution means 0.375 mole of sodium acid in 100 ml of water since we have 500 ml of water that means we divide everything by 2 so that is 0.1875 mole of sodium acid in 500 ml of water so point now we need to find the question says you need to find how many grams of sodium acid in this much mole so we are told that one mole is equal to 82.025 grams so 0.875 mole will be 0.1875 into 82.025 grams and that has come out to be 115.38 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again